Hello guys, in this tutorial we're gonna get started with invisible interactions. Just as a heads up, the plate has duplicated frames, but it's okay, I'll show you how to deal with it within the tutorial. We're gonna start with the frame hold set to frame one. We're gonna introduce this node called the pixel filler, link in the description. Use this configuration you see on the screen, create a roto node, attach it to the whole mask input, create this shapes. This will result in an easy cleanup for us. Create our frame hold set to F86, connect it to the plate, Add a roto node, create this shape, pre mold it, add a merge node to connect it, add a transform, adjust the piece into position. Right below the merge, add a roto node, create this shape, merge node right below it, set it to stencil, another roto node, connect it to the stencil. We're gonna punch out the window using this shape. Add a blur to it and set it to 12.8. Use a merge to connect the entire patch to the main plate. Create a tracker, track the window's lower left corner. From the tracker, create a transfer match move and place it at the tail of our patch. To finish it off, we're gonna add a pre-mold right below the main roto shape. Next up, add a frame hold set to F1, connect it. Now add a paint node and smear down this area until you get a result like this. Paint strokes lives to all, add a roto node, Rotate the exterior like this, making sure you include the smear work we did. pre it, add a tracker, track the roof of the house, create a transfer match move, place it at the tail, merge this patch onto the main pipe, placing it before the one we just made. This is the result we got. Now we're gonna make a new frame hold set to F48, connect it, add a rotor node, create this shape, pre it, create a tracker, track this area of the chest piece, get a transfer match move, Put it at the tail of your patch and merge this at the end of the main pipe. Add a blur to it, modifying only the alpha. Set it to 2.4. This is the result. Now new frame hold at F50. Add a new rotor node with this shape. pre mold it. We're going to create a tracker and track from F53 to 60. Make sure the reference F is set to 53 though. Create a transfer and match move out of this. Place it at the tail. Merge this patch onto like the main pipe. Now add a transform right below the match move and a directional blur right below the pre mold Set the blur type to linear and blur layer to RGBA. At F58, keyframe the blur length and the angle. Now move to F59. We're gonna adjust the length and the blur angle so that like it matches the plate. And we're gonna adjust like the transforms translate and rotation to make the patch line up. Since the frames are duplicated in this plate, we're gonna have to apply the same keyframe values to F60. So now we're going to repeat the same process until frame 74, applying the same keyframe values twice to the directional blur and to the transform. You should be getting a result that looks more or less like this. Next up, we're going to select our merge on F74, set a keyframe at the mix, go to frame 75 and set it to zero. Go to F53, set a keyframe there, go to F52 and set it to zero. New frame hold set at F69, connect it. Put a roto after it, create this shape, pre mold it, merge it to the main pipe. After the pre mold, add a transform, set a keyframe at F75, adjust the values to line it up with the plate. Just like we did for the previous chess piece, we'll adjust the transform for this one all the way till F83. Once that's done, we're gonna go to F75, select your merge and create a keyframe there. Go to F74, set it to zero, go to F81. Set a keyframe to F82, set it to zero. Add a key mix to the end of the pipe, create a dot, connect it to the plate and to the A input. Create a roto node, then create this shape. Create a tracker and track this part of the hand backwards onto F56. Then I'm just gonna switch my track reference point by control dragging and then I'll finish the track. Right below the roto, create a blur, set it to 26.5. Once done, I'll switch the tracker's reference frame to F80. I'm gonna create a match move and put it right beneath my blur. Add an invert node, connect the stack to the key mix's mask input, add a merge node in between, and set it to stencil. New roto, plug it to the A input, create this shape, add a blur below it, set it to 5.1, go back to the roto that's masking the hand, create this shape. Adjust it as needed to cover the chest piece, making sure you double your keyframes per movement. Next up, create a new key mix, create a dot, connect it to the plate and to the A input, create a roto node, create this shape, connect the roto to the mask input, add a blur after the roto. So far, this is the result. Create a new frame hold set at F60, add a merge node to the main pipe, roto node after the frame hold, create this shape, pre mold it, connect it to the merge. Now create a tracker, track this piece of the chest piece, make sure the reference F is at 60, 
create a match move out of this, put it right below your pre mold, go to your merge at F41, keyframe the mix to F40, set it to zero, go to F60, set a keyframe, go to F61, set it to zero. Now we got rid of those reflections there. To finalize, create another frame hold, set it to F39, add a roto, create this shape, add a blur, set it to 26, pre mold it, set the channel to alpha, merge it onto the main plate. Gonna create a tracker and track this area of the board. Set your ref to F39, get a match move out of it, put it at the tail. To wrap things up, we're gonna do a couple of adjustments. For our second patch, we're just gonna adjust the roto a bit like this. Below the roto, add a blur node, set the channels to alpha, blur level to 13.2. Let's go to our second key mix. We're gonna add this shape, go to F82 and set the life of the shape to frame to end. Go to the tail of the main pipe, create a paint node, Create a dot, connect the dot to the plate and to the BG1 input. With the reveal tool, we're going to be fixing this area. I'm going to set the life of this from 75 to 76 and I'll continue the same process all the way to frame 82. And once that's done, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or concerns, leave me a comment below and I'll make sure to answer. Also, please do me a favor and like the video just to make sure that like the content that I'm doing is actually helpful for you. Also, please subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all of the lessons that I'm sharing with you in this channel.